welcome to Improvisation about perfume at Haute Perfumerie, where we are engaging in narrative, in dialogue, in conversation together about perfume and about how it can affect and touch your life and everyone else's. And when we have these conversations, it's so beautiful because it leads us down a path of discovery and exploration together. Um, it's almost as though we're on some kind of journey of exploration. Yeah. Um, it's almost, I was in Egypt um, in April of the previous year, um, before the lockdown period, the year before, and it was really a pilgrimage of exploration and discovery. And when I was there, um, because we were with people who were within the inner sanctum and the holiest of holiests of the secrets of Egypt, we were allowed to engage in areas of the holiest of holy, and one of which was essence of perfume when it comes to prayer, to meditation, to purification, going to the realm of the ancients. And that's the intro. You know me, I'm Melissa. I'm Donovan. Yes. And me and my dear Don, we're going to have a conversation about this. So with this journey of discovery, I was privileged enough to go to an oasis where the elements from that for since the time of the pharaohs and perhaps even the time of Osiris and Isis, these elements were farmed and revered and pressed in a certain way for certain reason, for certain effects, cause and effect. And I was privileged enough to be in, allowed to bring those back to South Africa because I was in that very special place and, if you like, initiated uh, to that holiest of holy. And that being said, we brought these revered essences to Haute Parfumerie. And what we want to do is to introduce them to you um, with the sentiment and the feel and try and engage with you on what those values are. Not the surface value, but the deep, deep value of these. And if you like, these are to be on one as a balancing element of chakral balance, allowing keys to open higher realms and dimensions. And what we're going to do is for each I wrote a poem and I'm going to express that to you and the thinking, the thinking is very important because the thinking is linked to the source. And so I shall begin and then Don, we will engage on that. Yes, we will. So we're starting with one called Saqqara. And Saqqara is, as you know, a very revered place in Egypt. Um, and what I want to express here is when one goes to Saqqara, one must descend into the underground crouching low along a low ceilinged passageway to reveal the secrets of the Unas pyramid at Saqqara. For it is in the quest, in the delving deep, the exploring of the self, where the initiate becomes the initiated. To the wearer, stumbling, falling, bleeding, kneeling, healing, this is how we grow. That is Sakara. I think it's absolutely, it's so amazing how the poem is so articulate to the way this perfume smell, because the, mm. so the Sakara is a very deep musk, and it's not a blend of any sort, it's the pure essence of a musk. And this musk smells of exactly what that poem speaks about. It's imbued with knowledge, and the strength. So it's all about this one of becoming a higher self, deeping into yourself, gaining knowledge, and through that is how we learn and develop and grow as humans. So I think that's what's so profoundly beautiful about the Rev Chafan, is that it's this spirit, tradition, and knowledge and word coming together and forming this beautiful new brand that we've established here in Hot Parfumerie. That's beautiful, Don. And when you say it, and you say it so beautifully, Ré Parfum, um, Ré, Egyptian Ré, and comes from Ra, Ra and Ré, the same, the sun god, and the expression of the sun, the power and energy of the sun imbued into the perfumes. What's beautiful for me about Saqqara is that everything which is evolution 
that makes us grow mm -hmm. is marvelous. And evolution means those who can look upward. And for me, that's important because when one has a sense of humility yes. and a sense of reverence, that one must look above and one must seek higher counsel in order that we grow and evolve through the process of evolution on very many levels. That's what about what it is about. And so the quest of stumbling, falling, healing, hurting, and healing. So it's a case of this evolution, stasis, evolution, stasis. It's a beautiful, beautiful process. And um, moving to another one that we can have a look at together. Of and, course. And you chose Dandera. I did. And I know you chose Dandera because you love it so much. But Dandera is such a very, very, very special place. Mm. It's a place where Hathor resides. And Hathor being an Egyptian goddess, the one of fertility, um, has huge, huge power. And so this beautiful essence is the essence of the pure blue lotus. And this is a perfume of transcendence. Yeah. It's a perfume of going out of the relative sphere, transcending into the quiet stillness of the depths of the water. And so the bloom of a thousand petals, the blue lotus soundlessly submerges every night into river water and miraculously reblooms the next morning revealing her crowned blue bejeweled head sparkling clean shining bright a natural evolution of rebirth and spiritual enlightenment and so i say to the wearer every night when you go to sleep be grateful for the gift your soul to keep and when you, re you reawaken Renewed, refreshed, you realize it is I, the bearer of the shining gift. That's cool. So, how profound that, so Dandara, it's this pure blend of a blue lotus. So, to me, blue always speaks about the color of the soul, transcendence, going to a newer dimension of oneself. So, it's profound how even though they are singular oils and essences, these, they all tie together. And like how we said in the previous one, Sakara, you need to look up to sort counsel of a higher power. And that speaks about the soul, whereas in this one, it's the color blue lotus, which is that pure radiant soul. And even when you smell it, it's got a slight aquatic note to it. So yes. it, um, it's like still waters, as the sun shines over it, it's got that sparkle into it. And that's what I quite imagine. The scent smells like that shimmer in the water. Too beautiful. It's as though re, we catch the echo or the radiance of re upon the wave of the water. And so we start to see with different eyes. Yes. We start to actually see and feel with heart coherence. and. As an example, the dandera, which is blue lotus, I use it very much for meditation and in preparation and in the reverence of centering and honoring and then diving deep. So this has been a beautiful conversation, Donovan. No, it has. It um, always and, is. And I think we're going to really be engaging beautifully for our mm. people and for everyone and also I feel myself so much more well, a sense of wellness, a sense of peace, a sense of understanding that we are engaging on levels that matter more than got to, got to, got to, have exactly. to, have to. And quite frankly, from this point of coherence, so much happens effortlessly without stress and strain. So we wish you love, success without stress and everything that is good and once again only love